guys. I wanted to share a story with you today called The Squirrels Who Squabble. And this is written by Rachel Bright and Jim Fields. Brantley actually helped me pick out this story for you guys today. And when we were talking about the story, he asked, what does the word squabble mean? And so we took a look at the cover. And what do you notice about the cover? Do they look very happy, the squirrels? No, they kind of look like they might be in a little bit of an argument. So you're right, the word squabble means kind of like a little argument. So let's see, what kind of argument does these two squirrels have? And I also want you to pay attention and listen for some of those really good descriptive words that we talked about in writing that good authors put in their stories that help us kind of um, really picture what's going on in the story. So these have, this book has a lot of great descriptive words. In a towering forest where summer had been, the leaves turned to gold as, cold, as a cold wind blew in. And as autumn arrived with a sky raging red, the sleepiest creatures got ready for bed. While up in a tree swing, swung a flighty young squirrel who everyone knew a spontaneous cyril. Now, most forestry folk had seen to their needs through the plentiful months of mushrooms and seeds. They'd build up their stores so they'd all be well fed through the frosting of winter that glittered ahead. But Cyril, he lived in the now and the here. So his cupboard was empty, his hollow was bare. He hadn't a mouthful of food anywhere. But wait, what was that over there? Take a look, a single lone pine cone wedged in a nook. He squealed with delight and for a very good reason, for inside were the very last nuts of the season. But Cyril wasn't alone. There were more hungry eyes. Yes, plan ahead Bruce had his sights on the prize. thought he'd gather fresh treasures of every sort. Bruce was convinced he was one pine cone short. I simply must have it, he wistfully cried as he dreamt of the fresh juicy pine nuts inside. Hmm, knowing that that word means squabble, what is your prediction might be the squabble of the story. Let's find out. So, as Cyril set off on his way to the ground, Bruce, he was also last pine cone bound. They sprinted and scurried with no time to gamble. They scratched at the bark in their scampering scramble. Uh-oh. But their panic and haste shook the tips of the spruce and the pine cone, it trembled and then it came loose. Oh no. That was so good. Both squirrels gave a chase at lightning pace. This was the start of a wild nutty race. It's mine, shouted Cyril. No mine, hollered Bruce. You don't stand a chance. Give it up, it's no use. I'm hungry, cried Cyril. This cone is not yours. Stay back, shouted Bruce. 
this cones for my stores. It boinged over bushes and flew through the air. It binged on the nose of a slumbering bear. It bounced over boulders, then came to a... Stop! Then teetered and wobbled and quivered and... Both squirrels followed. Oh, the water was fast. Would they learn that they needed each other at last? What do you think? Do you think they're going to realize teamwork works best? Let's see. But each was intent on how he could win. So they didn't quite notice a bird swooping in. Cyril and Bruce, they watched in dismay as their cone disappeared up, up, and away. Come back, shouted Cyril. There are nuts, exclaimed Bruce, but all hope was gone. It was simply no use. And meanwhile, they drifted right up to the ledge Greed, it was driving them over the edge. Cyril and Bruce, they had taken a fall. They were pay paying the price for what, wanting it all, excuse me. They squandered their chances to team up and share. Would their nutty young hopes simply end in despair? Bruised and beraggled, they swept past dry lands. Cyril grabbed at a branch with a trembling hands, <gasps> catching Bruce. With the other, he heaved and he huffed and pulled him to safety with a panting and puff. They dragged themselves up with sputtering wiggles. Then Bruce looked at Cyril and exploded in giggles. How silly we are, he managed to mutter. How greedy I've been, he corrupted proclaimed with a splutter. We shall change from today. May the squabbling seize. We should celebrate seeing we're both in one piece. From that day and forward, they made a great pair. They would gather together and found they could share. Yes, Cyril and Bruce, they knew in the end the best thing to share is a laugh with a friend. I love that story, right? Not only does it have some really good descriptive words, but it also teaches us an awesome lesson that being greedy or wanting all these things all the time are not always the best way to be, right? Sharing, we've talked about that being bucket fillers, right? Sharing often makes you feel better because you're giving to other people and that makes you feel so much better when you give. So I thought I'd share that with you, my little bucket fillers, and I will see you all tomorrow. It was awesome seeing you guys today. We'll talk to you later.